you know, that we started the, the, the River of Light site. And I just thought it would be a good idea to, to petition the governor to have him uh, protect the waterways down here in Florida. Uh, the Army Corps engineers have been dumping water into the, the canals here and killing the waterways over there in the Indian River Lagoon. So I figured the best thing to do, put a petition together, get it out there to the people through social networking. And uh, five weeks ago, and it's been five weeks ago to the day, yesterday, that it was on the front page of the Stewart News. And since then, another 10,000 signatures have been on the petition, which is great. I sent, I contacted him about it. He sent me a, a, a form letter that basically said, it's not my responsibility, it's not my job to take care of it. Well, I think it's his responsibility to protect the people and the waterways down here in Florida. I mean, just to allow Washington, D.C. to do that, just keep dumping the water on there and then accept no responsibility for it is irresponsible in itself. They did. They asked him about the petition, and he just stood there blankly like a, like a deer in the headlights at nighttime with a car coming at him. He had no idea or no clue about what, what we were talking about. And uh, since then, in the five weeks' time since then, uh, it seems that it's a big priority of uh, his now, and he's coming out here to let us know that he's on our side. Well, they kind of go hand in hand. The, uh, the sugar industry is getting federal subsidies since the Great Depression, and it's one of the only agriculture industries that still gets taxpayer subsidies. And uh, I think that the, the tax subsidies should end. Take that money, take that tax money, start building the, building the waterway so that it flows south and stop dumping the water going east and west, mostly east. I mean, that's where we are right here. They do have a, a lot of problems on the west coast as well from, from the same issue. If they, uh, they stop the tax subsidies to the sugar industry, that means that they're gonna to have to compete in an open market. And in an open market, the price of sugar is just gonna drop, which will drop the cost of food. It'll, they'll probably have to sell the land back that they used for it just to make up for, to recoup their losses, which they would do, which would give us the land to let the water flow south down into the Everglades, instead of dumping it over here into, uh, into our canal. Thank you.